And now, your extended weather forecast brought to you by Reister and Schnell. Chad, the farmers I know who don't have irrigation on their farm are starting to think of some pretty creative solutions to get some moisture to their crops. Yeah, it would be easy if Mother Nature would just bring us some of that rain, but not all at once. In fact, uh, most of the state now, we'll check the drought monitor here in just a moment, but most of the state now under at least a abnormally dry category, no surprise, given how dry it has been uh, for much of the state, uh, not only this month, but so far this year. Uh, let's talk about those temperatures so far this month as of Thursday, 12.2 degrees above average by this point of the month here in Green Bay. Rainfall, obviously a deficit, and now we're over five inches below normal for this time of the year for rain and melted snow. Through the first nine days of this June, this has been the hottest start to June on record, dating back since the 1880s here in Green Bay. That then tops what was previously the warmest start back in 1933 at 74.2 degrees. Then you can see the other top five years that were awfully warm, but by far this is the warmest with several 90s here this past week. All the state, anywhere from 6 to even 12 degrees above average in terms of rainfall. Northern Wisconsin has seen at least a few more showers and storms this past week, but everybody is looking at a deficit and things getting awfully dry across southern Wisconsin. Here's the latest drought monitor. We now have uh, much of southeastern Wisconsin under that severe category. Still a moderate drought for Manitowoc and Sheboygan County, now including Fond du Lac, Green Lake and Marquette County. And then you notice this has been updated for abnormally dry conditions across much of central and eastern Wisconsin, including us here in Green Bay. So that has been moving northward. And unfortunately, at least in the near term, not a whole lot of rain in the forecast. In fact, over the next 10 days, this round of the GFS model indicating potentially less than a half inch of rainfall and looking further ahead, that 8 to 14 day outlook, once again, looking awfully dry for much of the nation.